Greetings from Tokyo. This is Daisuke Beppu, and I hope all of you are doing very well. I'd like to answer a viewer question here, and this question is from Indomat64. Hello, how are you doing? Thank you very much for your question. And you asked about uh, what are the holiday films or the winter season films that I would recommend. Um, so that's a really good question. And let me answer the question in the context of the Criterion Collection. So I have uh, a number of films here that have to do with uh, maybe the winter or holiday season, uh, but also uh, have to do with the concept of faith and spirituality uh, as captured uh, in a film or a movie. So I hope you don't mind. Spine number 266, this is The King of Kings. This has, um, this is the Cecil B. DeMille silent film. Um, now this is still in its plastic wrapping because I actually have another copy that is in poor shape, but I'd rather show this, which is a pristine copy. Uh, this has two versions of the silent film, 1927 and 1928, and the uh, 1927 version is longer, right? Yes, it's 155 minutes versus the 1928 version, which is 112 minutes. Uh, so this is a really nice package. And again, this is a silent film uh, about the story of Christ. So uh, this is a, a really nice film, I think, to watch. Uh, during this season. King of Kings. Spine number 492. Um, this is uh, A Christmas Tale and this is a sort of family drama uh, from 2008 uh, with Catherine Deneuve. Um, this is a this is a Christmas film. Uh, it has Christmas in the title. It does take place at Christmas, and it is a, a family drama that is very memorable and uh, quite unforgettable in many places, um, and uh, quite um, uh, filled with a nice sense of of um, maybe warmth on the other on one hand, and maybe. Um, melancholy, sadness on the other hand. So uh, this is something that is a really nice uh, gem in the Criterion Collection uh, on Blu-ray for your consideration. A Christmas Tale. Next is a film that takes place around Christmas. Uh, spine number 428. Blast of Silence. Um, this is a Christmas. This is a film that takes place around Christmas, but it is a very dark, hard-boiled, uh, black and white, cold and uh, great film, which is about loneliness and uh, death. <laughs> so, if you're into that sort of thing, I think this is a, a fantastic choice. Uh, again. Uh, there is a Christmas connection, but uh, it is a hard-boiled, sort of uh, brooding thriller. Uh, very rec uh, highly recommended. So electrifying. Blast of Silence for your consideration. This is a DVD uh, from 1961, um, but uh, and it's only 77 minutes, so it's it's doesn't uh, it's, it goes by very quickly. So for your consideration, Blast of Silence. Next, uh, spine number 929, which is Female Trouble. Now this is a film uh, by John Waters, and it does uh, have Christmas elements to this, and uh, there is uh, there there are some pretty uh, specific plot points that have to do with Christmas and a Christmas tree, which is a very memorable scene, uh, and uh, starring Divine. So again, John Waters films I think are very uh, refreshing and unique. I love them, uh, and this film is no exception to that. Um, uh, but they are uh, not necessarily for everyone, so um, uh, again, uh, this is, I think, a very typical early John Waters work, so uh, if you are okay with that, then I am very happy to recommend to you Female Trouble as a, a film that has to do with Christmas. Next, spine number 261. This is the film Fanny and Alexander. This is uh, by Ingmar Bergman, and this is the Blu-ray set, which has the television version from 1982 and the theatrical version from 1982, and also the making of Fanny and Alexander from 1983. So uh, this is a beautiful film, 
uh, again, a Christmas time film, and that is, forms the backdrop for the human drama that is to unfold. And my goodness, what a magnificent, uh, just uh, stupendous, uh, lovely uh, film. Everything uh, in the frame, uh, everything is filled with some kind of, of gem and uh, I really love this film. This also is in the Ingmar Bergman box set, but this individual release is uh, just wonderful. So again, as a Christmas film for your consideration, Fanny and Alexander. Here's another Christmas film, uh, 1985. This is Spine Number 51, and this is the film Brazil. This is a wonderful dystopian science fiction film and it is a film that has to do with Christmas or the build-up to Christmas and so there are a lot of there's a lot of Christmas iconography um, there's a lot of Christmas imagery that is mixed into the wonderful visual landscape of this film which is dark and brooding and and almost cyberpunk so uh, as a Christmas film this is tops I really think this is a uh, an ideal Christmas film in many ways Brazil for your consideration. This is the Blu-ray. Next, let me show you a couple of films, uh, a few films actually, that are um, in the collection currently that I think have to do with faith and spirituality. Um, so these I think are, are really important films to watch. Um, the first one here is Spine Number 293. And this is The Flowers of St. Francis. Sorry about the glare. There you go. This is a DVD, and it's an, uh, as you can see, it's an older DVD. Um, uh, but this is Roberto Rossellini's film uh, with co-writer uh, Fellini here. And this has, this is a vignette film. And this is a lovely, uh, each vignette shows a certain example, or not lesson, but a certain uh, story. Uh, that perhaps we can uh, glean from and uh, take from as viewers. And so this is so uh, such a, a rich and uh, lovely uh, work. I recommend it so strongly. Um, again, it's a DVD from 19, this film is from 1950, so that might not necessarily be appealing, but again, as a, a film, uh, to watch maybe during the season where I think faith and spirituality are uh, things, are topics that are, are perhaps very important and perhaps personal to you. This would be a film that I think you would be uh, very much uh, engaged with. The Flowers of St. Francis for your consideration. Next, from 1965, um, this is uh, spine number, excuse me, 460, Simon of the Desert. This is uh, Louis Buñuel, and this is a very short film, only 45 minutes, uh, but this is a film about the nature of belief, and uh, it's told in the very uh, unique and wonderful way that Buñuel tells his stories. So this is another DVD, uh, but it's a shorter film, and, so, and it's a Buñuel film, so this is so... I strongly recommend this so much, again, as another take on this concept or aspect of belief, uh, and in particular the concept of belief in the concept and the context of, uh, of Christian uh, belief. So this is a, um, for some, it, it could perhaps even be shocking, um, it could be refreshing to others, uh, but I think that it is a film that is very thought-provoking and thus uh, one that I can uh, very strongly recommend as a film to watch uh, during this uh, season. So, Simon of the Desert. Next is Spine Number 470. This is from 1979. This is Wise Blood, uh, directed by John Huston, starring Brad Dourif. A uh, just a, a fantastic, fantastic film. This is an adaptation of a novel by Flannery O'Connor. So uh, this has everything to do with this idea of struggle and uh, faith and worship um, in the context of um, this uh, sort of American uh, community. So I think this is a, a such a worthwhile film. Uh, so uh, engaging and uh, 
very, very interesting film. Uh, this is a DVD again, so that might not necessarily be something that you're into. Uh, I hope not. I hope you are into DVDs, and if so, please consider getting this and watching this for uh, the, the holiday season. Again, for your consideration, Wise Blood.